someone else who had a bunch of letters I couldn't read in time. You have won the tokens! Shady Lulu, we got random order match. Oh boy. It's Tangrowth Unknown K and Delcaddy versus Lunatone, Spirit Tomb, and Star After, but who knows what it'll actually be. I've noticed a lot of random matches. Either nothing changes or just two Pokemon change and everything else stays the same. Yeah, I know what you mean. I do agree with he's on a timer. Red Team looks promising here. Not just because they have big sprites, but Spiritomb and Star After are both very strong. Whoa, TPP Sims, slow down. Pogchamp. Pogchamp? Blue team doesn't have a terrible team, but unfortunately that unknown seems to be a liability. And also thank you, Renda, for the 10 months sub. Uh, you're welcome. I mean, I'm not Renlev's alt. Let's lose some more real and fake money. This is how I imagine you sound in real life. I'm not making fun of you at all. So Renlev sounds like Tristan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Don't worry, Joey. If we don't believe in them, they won't be able to hit us. Do you want to just commentate a whole match like that? And I'll no, be quiet? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great. We have a lot of commentary talent over here. Like, every like everyone's commentary is different, even though we joke that everyone sounds like Brian. And... I wouldn't have expected we had this many good commentators on TDP. I really like it. Right? Oh my goodness! What face? We have an intruder, everyone! Get those beds in quick! Also, it thanks, does. chat, for the acting compliments. That's probably the only impersonation I can do. We'll, we'll trick you into doing other ones. Oh boy. It does look like Red Team is favorite as far as bets go. Um, nobody really big bet on Blue Team, but that doesn't mean they can't win this. And oh, yeah. I love this song too. Whoever's bidding music today is doing a good job. How do you know that all of Rina's favorites? The Illuminati. The Illuminati. So it looks like Blue Team got unknown against Spiritomb. I would consider this probably worst order. Actually, looking at the whole match, I would say this is a pretty bad order for Blue Team. <laughs> yeah, definitely not good. And Silverwind is going to almost knock out Unknown K in one hit. Unknown manages to clutch that. Um, hopefully for Blue Team, Red doesn't get some... Oh, Shadow Sneak. Okay, Red wasn't going for just that boost on second turn there. They do not go for the Groot, instead they get the quick kill, so Unknown is down before getting a hit off. Next up for Blue Team is Tan Growth. It does have a high defense stat. We'll see if Spiritomb can penetrate those defenses. I can feel those one hands coming. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but... Leapstorm does about 50%, but unfortunately Tangrowth's special attack goes down, and Spiritomb has Wiki Berry. Yeah, gonna heal off some of that damage, and another Silverwind is gonna come in. There's a pretty that... good amount of damage despite not having the stab bonus. Yeah, that did more than I thought it would. I kind of forgot that despite the fact that it just used Silverwind, I forgot it had it. <laughs> And that should take Tangrowth out.
Oh, Captain Ooh. Pride, Spirit Tube is all the colors now. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really expect this match to be this decisive, but I do again I do think red order. Red red team got the best order possible here. Yeah, even if Tank Growth got through a spear tomb, it would have to deal with Star Raptor, which I'm not sure if it could do that. Yeah, Star Raptor's got air cutter too, so it's not even a physical attack. Red team goes for spite. Uh, all of red team seems to be on D now. An interesting choice here, and Delcaddy can't really do anything to that Spirit Tomb with Rock Smash. It does appear that Blue Team is switching over to Iron Tail, but I mean, even if it starts using that, it'll be smited away in three turns or less. A small hit from Iron Tail. Unfortunately, yeah. Delcaddy's offenses are not very strong. Plus, the Spear Tube has that defense boost from the rainbow, and here comes Faint Attack. Dealing quite a bit of damage to that Delcaddy, thanks to the attack boost. That did exactly 50% damage. We will see if the next roll on Faint Attack... Oh, nope. Iron Tail hits. Down goes Spear Tube. Honestly, I have no faith in Iron Tail as a move. I think its accuracy is like 75%, and it never hits unless the other person uses it, so... Yeah, its accuracy is actually 25% when you use it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hi, TPP Sim! Ooh, thank you Pixel Umbreon for your subscription. Thank you for supporting Twitch Plays Pokemon. Star Raptor misses Hyper Beam. Delcaddy could potentially turn it around here with, you know, 10 more hits. Yeah, it'll need about uh, 2,000 more. Never say never. Ooh, Hyper Beam hits and it's gonna take out Delcaddy. Red Team takes another match, 39% payout. Pretty good, considering again the order was completely in their favor. And, yeah. I mean, even if Star Raptor went down, you know, Lunatone pretty much takes Delcaddy in this match. People in chats using their swift rages for that hyper beam. I love how many just like rage emotes Twitch has. Cause like they're not like angry or salty, they're just like ah screaming. Yeah, they can be uh, some real hype emotes if you use them correctly. I remember when Baby Rage was first rolled out, I had no idea why Twitch introduced it. It was just like, it's a baby. Why? Why do we have it? But now I love that emote, so it's okay. I love seeing that for Never Lucky. So give us some baby rages if you don't win one of the two tokens in here. Get get Never Lucky. Everyone, Never Lucky. I can. Oh man, they're already doing it. Awesome. They did, the side game hasn't even ended yet. Well, I didn't get. Oh wait, what? Did <laughs> you did get, get a token. Tokens? Fennekin can't baby okay. rage. Dang it! Baby rage, I can't baby rage. Everyone, throw back galaxy. Wave your arms, forehead. TPP tells me I only won one token. Okay. Ah, uh, you only won one? Out yeah, of I two? guess. I guess one of those tokens got sucked into an empty void. Looks like we do have another random order match here. Oh uh, last boy. time I was on commentary, I commented that we seem to get random order or switching off more than 50% of the time. And uh, that seems to be true today as well.
So on the blue team, it's Cricket Tune. Sorry, it's a Necrodon and a Wobbuffet. And on the red team, it's a Cyndaquil, a Sudowoodo, and a Shieldon. Now that's funny. I don't remember a Shieldon on our VC team. Hmm. Neither do I. Shield on, confirm, Generation 2. It was, um, I think it was a god Pokemon in Generation 4, right? The, for Heart Gold, Soul Silver. For that run. I wasn't around for that run. I don't remember if I was. Also, I was going to comment how 5 6 of these Pokemon are physical sets, but Cricketune's set is actually called Fizz Tech, and I assume that refers to Technician. But I almost didn't notice it said that. He's a technical physician. I don't think I want Cricketune to be my technical physician. He's a technology physics guy. He's very well educated. But how does he type with sites? He has a voice recognition software. They can you tell... know, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they can tell all of his dilly -dilly -dilly whoops from the others. Twenty seconds left to bet. We got some Pokemon Snap music. I've actually never heard this song. Pretty good music, actually. Yeah, like I thought this was like Gen Seven, and it looked it was like Pokemon Snap. I'm like, oh, cool. All right, everyone's last-minute bets are in. Looks like Bloons, Terry, and uh, Twisparks all went to Red, so they seem to think that Red has the advantage. And the orders have rotated. It looks like it's Wobbuffet versus Cyndaquil. Oh, and Brian's favorite song is playing. Yay! Cyndaquil going to enjoy the lead spot against Wobbuffet as it doesn't have counter, so it's going to hit hard with Flare Blitz. Oh, it has Zen Headbutt. I was going to say I can't read what its first move is. That's actually pretty good Whoa. damage. That's going to hurt. Yeah, that little Cyndaquil doesn't have a whole lot of health, unfortunately. That's okay. Cyndaquil will try its best. Do your best, Cyndaquil. Burn that little, that Wobbuffet. Now, I didn't get a chance to look at the movesets, but if Wobbuffet is burned and just kind of sitting there not doing damage, it's possible a red team could set up. I do see Rock Polish. Oh man, Cyndaquil clutched. Yeah, nice clutch from Cyndaquil. He really is doing his best. Good job, Cyndaquil. Now make Zen headbutt and miss next turn. <laughs> Overused jokes. There are no overused jokes on TPP, don't be silly. Everything's an overused joke on TPP. Well, Cyndaquil kapows itself with that Flare Bliss and deals a lot of damage to the Wobbuffet in return. And the Wobbuffet went for Psy Wave. I believe it has less accuracy than Zen Headbutt. Actually, I think they both have 90%. The point is, Psy Wave sucks. <laughs> That's right. You tell him, Rena. Psywave sucks! You Wobbuffet... suck! Oh, Custap! Ooh. Psywave bit. See, what did I tell you? Psywave oh, sucks! Oh, it worked! Re commentator reverse curse. I told you guys. And does Wobbuffet clutch that burn? No, it does not. It's extremely hard to see the magic pixel. Like, um,. You know when something clutches with like 1 HP? I can never tell on the teleprompter if it actually clutches or not. That's kind of the fun of commentary. You don't totally know what's going on, so... You get a little more hype. You get a little more surprise. This is true, and out comes Cricketune. Shield on goes for Rock Slide, and we'll see if it gets flinch. Rock Slide tumbles down, dealing a lot of damage to Cricketune, about half health. And it gets the flinch! Rock slide misses. This would be the oh, and it does oh, miss. Commentary curse again. You're on fire today. 
and crit goes for bug bite. That will do about half half effectiveness. Rock does not resist bug, contrary to what I constantly think. Does it not? It it does not. Huh. I have to go learn how to play Pokemon. I don't know, bug type just seems to be the one that throws everyone on everything. Cause I um oh no, that's that was ice. I was gonna say in Gen 1, ice was normal to fire as well. What even are bugs? Help me, help me cricket it. Oh, it's dead. Oh. It's okay, I put some bugs in chat. So this position is actually not that bad for blue team. Um, they have no water stab, but everything on red is weak to rock smash, which isn't that strong blue, blue but, you know, it's okay. Earthquake tears open the ground, doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Crawdot moves in for Rock Smash and deals a lot more. Defense fell just for good measure. Um, actually, I would have said Dragon Dance would have been prudent here. That would have avoided this second Earthquake. I say that, I'm not actually sure how much speed Rock Polish gave it, but I'm just going to assume. What do you know? You're just a commentator. I'm just a commentator who watches this stream every day. What do I know about Pokemon? Yeah. What even are Pokemon? They're monsters in your pocket. Huh. I'm learning. Sudowoodo goes for Woodhammer. That may just be one hit. Oh, that's definitely Ooh. a KO. <laughs> Bye bye, Crawdont. Well timed critical hit. I wasn't aware that Crawdont was slower than Sudowoodoo. Yeah, the Crustacean is super slow for some reason. Yeah, we have Terry commenting in the chat with basically the same thing. Or they countered, that's true. But I don't think anyone was on counter? Now, has Blue Team won any games since we got on commentary? Come to think of it, I am not sure. Bet red next time, everyone. You heard it here, bet red. No matter what. The only reason Blue lost is because they used Psywave. Yeah, terrible Psywave worst move of the game. So, like, do you know where we are in this game? Do you have any idea? I have no idea. Route 2, maybe? 